It is time once again for the Minecraft Bingo Weekly Challenge. Seed 5601 is a bingo card that looks pretty challenging. I think the bottom row is actually the most reliable, despite all of the gold on it, but there are a variety of things that could fall into our laps that could help, such as the enchanted book, and actually the diagonal that goes from the minecart chest down to the spider eye is also not so bad. So I think we will focus on those things, a lot of underground things, but I need to make sure I get mushrooms and sugarcane and look out for cows while I'm on the surface. Not sure how this one's gonna go, let's just try it out. Start go. All right, this crazy seed starts us off in the ocean. I see some spruce trees over here, which I'm kind of fond of, and actually the desert. Man, if there happened to be a pyramid in that desert, that could really do great things for the bottom row. And so I'm kind of tempted to actually go and explore the desert. It's an unlikely course, uh, but this is a card with high risk reward ratios, I feel like. And we've got some flying squid. Yeah, this is definitely going to be an interesting card. But in any case, in terms of tools and things, I'm likely to need all the standard complements of tools, and I definitely need to look out for sugarcane and mushrooms. Uh, there does seem to be a swamp over there, and so I'm likely to get some of both. And just in case somehow we stumble across uh, a watermelon, I should probably try to get a spruce sapling, and so I will start with the spruce. And do I need the glass bottles? In the unlikely event of that, I might want them as well. So I might pick up some sand. I guess I'm going to be heading to the desert. There'll be plenty of opportunity to get said sand. So let's not worry about it too much right at the moment. Uh, I don't recall seeing any stone as of yet, but I realize that I haven't been paying enough attention for it. And I want to make sure I get the spruce sapling, and so I'll be willing to spend a moment here uh, looking for the stone. There's stone over here. Okay, great. So we'll go make our initial tools right over here. Go back to the sapling, and then move on. I don't know why I just had two sets of sticks there when I only need one. But it's all good. And let's see. I Do I need the furnace yet? I have nothing I need to cook immediately. So I think I'll just get my other tools and we'll worry about furnaces later. So let's just do zing zang and a zizzle. Like so. All right, and we'll worry about other stone later. Hopefully by now, a spruce sapling has fallen on the ground. Where did I chop down that uh, tree? Right here. There's a sapling. Great. And then I saw some swamp land over here, which is likely to contain the mushrooms. And also, I can keep an eye out for my sugar cane. Uh, swamp land's right over there. Haven't seen the sugar cane as of yet. Uh, do I need... I do not need squid ink for anything. And did I hear a cow? At least a possibility. Yes, here's a cow. And cow milk was on the diagonal. Yeah, that could definitely be good. No. Alright, cow. I'm going to remember that you are here. And possibly come back for you. Uh, but first I'm going to go try to get myself some mushrooms. Since they'll be necessary for that course. If I've not already misremembered the card. Yes, the mushroom stew. It's right in the middle. Rather key item on the bingo card. The center. Part of a row, a column, and two different diagonals. Oh, and more cows are over here. Isn't that so nice? All right, and since there's a chance that I will need an apple to craft to a golden apple with one of the ways I'm trying to go, we're going to chop down... Let's chop down three swamp trees, which is usually enough to get an apple to fall. We'll also ensure our wood supplies. And then let's try to find somewhere where we can get some quick iron uh, or possibly listen for the very friendly sound of a dungeon that could give us a bucket and some other goodies. So I would like to milk this cow. All right, and we're gonna need extra brown mushrooms. Uh, right now I don't have any food, and so I might even wanna get some stew, but do I see any red mushrooms? They are the more difficult variety find in the wilderness. Uh, looks like there's some roofed forest over here, so let's take... Yes, I do see red mushroom over here. Great. Playing the odds. Didn't see it originally, but as I got closer, it revealed itself to me. 
Let's hope that there are actually some red mushrooms in this room. There we go. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got one. Yes, I did. Okay, so I've got a red mushroom. I've got plenty of brown mushrooms. Let's go back and check out the apple. And, uh, right, I'd really love to milk a cow. There's cows back in the other direction that I was going to head towards the desert potentially as well. Uh, I'm still not seeing an apple on the ground over here. I should walk a little bit closer to make sure that items are rendering in. Um, but I don't immediately see the apple, and so perhaps I will dig down and just try to quickly get some iron. Let's, let's do that. That seems not unreasonable. I'll also need some stone, and so we'll be accomplishing two birds. I thought briefly I heard some lava, but now I've decided that I don't. Just need a little iron, please. Anybody? Bueller? Here we go. Alright, the zombie... Sounds like he's right over here. Yeah, I might have even gone down too low. Oh, here he is. Perfect. Here's a cave. We will find all manner of resources in here, I'm certain. Uh, let's go ahead and make one of these, because I'm probably going to need it. And there's something else I wanted to make. Right, the mushroom stew. Which, sadly, I only got the one red mushroom, so I can't eat that. And even though I'm unlikely to use the glass bottles, let's go ahead and get them cooking. And these guys might drop me uh, some nice zombie flesh that would be tasty and amazing to eat. Sounds like there's at least one or two more zombies coming for me, which could be good. Kind of taking my time here, just to make sure I wasn't going to be assaulted by tons of zombies in a dungeon. Doesn't seem like that's the case. Uh, do we see any resources at all? Uh, here's some iron. I hear the zombie sneaking up. Not sure where he is. Alright, there's the zombie. He's great. Now, if I were going for that diagonal, I think I'd need uh, 12 pieces of iron or 15 or something. And so... The Ender Pearl was on the card, but I don't think it was anywhere that I was trying to use right now. Let's go ahead and get these things cooking. Since I've got this, let's get this made. And then any chance there's a ton of gold anywhere right down here? Or diamonds that could somehow turn the card around in a different direction? It seems pretty promising down here. But sadly, no. Alright, let's eat a bunch of zombie flesh. Should be able to heal a tiny bit from that. Before the hunger takes over. Oh, and there's more zombie flesh over here. Alright, we'll just have to hope that I get lucky with that other piece. Ooh, here, a low flying plane outside. Craziness. Alright, and with these... Hmm, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Alright, there's a fair number of zombies here. It's likely that they're just walking from other cave systems. And that enderman is still walking around. I just want to make sure that there's not a dungeon over here. Because it could help me out, and then the Enderman is teleported directly over to me, it sounds like. Uh, and so, since he's going to just give me the gift of an Ender Pearl, I might as well take it. It'd be rude not to. And then let's quickly update the card and see if that changes anything. I need a watermelon over there or that. Yeah, alright, I don't think that changed anything. Uh, and you're really not seeing anything down here. I feel kind of surprised. Yeah, there's just like no resources in this cave. Uh, so let's take the little bit of iron that we got and get that out of here, I think. Uh, I think I'll go back up to the surface, I'll milk the cow, and kind of go from there. Um, let's go ahead and pick this up. And actually, before I do that, let's look very carefully at the card. Uh, if I were to get the cow, I've got some iron... I don't have enough iron yet, is the problem. I need at least one more piece of iron. No, four more pieces of iron. Oh, I bet you I can find it elsewhere. I'm going to go back upstairs. 
All right, and uh, we have plenty of wood to do it with. Actually, I've got plenty of stone to do it with, too. Okay. I don't feel like I have a good plan on this one, but this is a challenging card, in my opinion. So I don't feel bad about it. All right, and so we're back up here. Let's go ahead and craft a bucket. Since we didn't manage to find one. Uh, get a cow milked. Thank you. Get some long overdue food. Uh, I think the food fell in, yeah, there. And then with the cow milked and the mushroom stew, and I could go ahead and craft uh, one of these. That's not how you do that. One of these is what I'm trying to do. And let's start cooking up the food, because I have a feeling this is still going to last a little while longer, sadly. Uh, and let's go ahead and make another furnace and get that other little bit of iron cooked up. Like a so. And I probably don't need to discard things, but I'm doing it anyway. All right, and so we would just need the spider eye, which still means I need the sugar. Uh, and a little bit more iron for the cauldron. Okay. Well, I know what I'm after, so let's go make it happen. Uh, these steaks will be delicious. A little bit more raw food to sustain us will be good. Let's find a spider on the surface and hopefully hear the sounds of a dungeon or monsters below. That will enable us... These cows almost look like they're floating here. <laughs> I guess he's standing on a lily pad. Crazy cows. Being all crazy. All right, got some good raw food. That should last me a bit. Uh, you are not a spider, and I need the sugar cane. Let's not forget the sugar cane. Let's actually focus on the sugar cane. The spider will just come in the due course of time. Oh no, there's a jungle over here? Uh, that could have changed everything. Um, or did I see a jungle? Yeah, that looks like a jungle, right? If there is a jungle over here, that could have changed everything. I don't know that it does change everything right now, though. And what do we have here? Oh my goodness, a giant ravine. All right, if I had traveled a little bit farther this way. One thing I did like about this card, just when I was making the challenges for the week, is that the challenges for the week, you're weak, you're not strong. Um, for this week on the calendar, is that it was such an interesting card from the point of view of that people could, where did I see that jungle tree? And it was just a tiny jungle tree? It's not a jungle tree, is it? It was just like a swamp tree on the border of a biome that made it look a brighter green or something. All right, I still have not found the sugar cane. But yeah, one thing I liked about this card was starting in the ocean and having multiple ways to go. I can imagine for different people, this card is going to play out completely differently. Because whereas on normal cards, it's often the case that many people will go in the same direction because there's a direction that just seems laden with good resources. On this one, it was not at all immediately apparent which of the directions would be more profitable than the others. I'm aware that I got the spider eye, by the way. I'm just trying to look out for the sugar cane. Uh, I did get the spider eye, right? Yes. Pretty sure I saw that happen to my inventory. And so I think this will be an interesting one to watch. Um, I might watch a few of the top times from the week uh, to see what various strategies and luck people had on the card. Uh, but let's go ahead and craft this. Like so, and let's update the card to make sure I know where I stand. But I think at this point I just need iron. Yes, I just need iron. Uh, so let's go find... Oh, crap! Let's stay alive and find somewhere safe to go down to get our iron. Um, any caves? Otherwise, I'll just dig. We'll look for a cave for about 10 seconds. It looks like there might be one here. No, it's just a little pool. I can sprint past these guys. Five more seconds. Still not seeing a cave entrance. It's reasonably safe around here to dig. I actually need to eat. Mm. I can eat underground. I probably don't even need to eat underground. Yeah, I should just dig. I'm not seeing a cave. Alright. Somewhere we're safe from mobs and that was already reasonably deep. It's a good place to dig. So let's dig here. Try to find some iron. 
Uh, just for a little extra safety, we'll go ahead and do that. But I believe I need five more pieces of iron. That should be a straightforward task. This won't be a great time. But on what looked to be a challenging card, I think I'll find it adequate. Here, a skeleton in this direction. He seems awfully far away. He's a little closer now. And now he seems like he's slightly this way. I'm in danger of losing this pick. Okay, he does seem very close. So that bodes well. I hear a bat as well. Don't see him above. And I don't hear him below. So I think we lost him. I do hear another bat. Thought that was going to happen. What you going to do? I heard a bat die in the lava, which makes me a little bit nervous. I don't hear the lava, though. I guess the bat could have drowned to death as well. Though then I think I'd hear the spooshy noises of the water. How have I not found any iron, even? Or even any coal? Other than gravel, there's been nothing. I do sound like I'm getting close to the bat. But I apologize for the slowness of the video. In general, I prefer action, and at times like this I find it hard to come up with any commentary that's too amazing, because it wouldn't really match. Here we go. What's happening on the screen? If I were ranting and raving about all manner of who knows what. Okay, let's get that cooking up. I need five of them, I believe. And so let's get this cooking up over here and then get half of these. I think that'll still go faster like that. And five and three or eight. I don't even need that many. Okay, great. And so I've got four. I need seven. That'll be five. This one will give me six. That one will give me seven. And I just build a cauldron, right? Yes. Okay. So in another two seconds, we'll be done with this card. And we can be sad about our time of 17 minutes and 8 seconds. But I got it done. What you gonna do? Some cards are harder than others. Uh, I'd be very curious. Let's actually go... Oh. Um, let's... I'm actually gonna teleport back to the spawn point. Uh, and I just want to look in the opposite direction. Or I never went back to that desert to see if there was a pyramid. Uh, I just want to take a look at that. 17 minutes and 8 seconds was my time. I just want to take a look and see if we've gone in a different direction. What fortunes we may have had. And yeah, this actually, I guess it'll take a little while for this to come up. So I'll see you in a moment. All right, so in game mode three, I can fly around. Uh, I originally went this way through the spruce trees and then wanted to check out this desert. If I had checked out this desert, we would have found nothing, absolutely nothing. So it was good that I didn't go over here. It would, would, would appear. Uh, what if we'd gone to a different continent at the beginning? What if we'd gone over to this stretch? That pillar over there was the spawn point. Pillar up from the bottom of the ocean to give the player a proper place to stand at the beginning of the game. Over in this direction, I don't see a jungle. I don't see anything too amazing uh, in terms of what is here. I'm just curious to look down. Did I see a mine shaft? No, just a, I guess there might have been a mine shaft way down there. Uh, there's a yeah, just a big cave over here that some folks may have found that leads to a dungeon or two, but nothing too exciting. There's a mine shaft over here, and then there is one other continent from the beginning that people might have headed towards, if I recall correctly. So we just explored that. I went this way, and what if people had gone this way and this way? So there's a big mountain right here that has nothing inside of it, really. It seems unlikely that people would have gotten down into that dungeon ravine, I think. Over in this desert, once again, 
tiny place with no pyramids. And over here, nothing too outstanding on the landscape. I guess there's the roofed forest that I managed to come over here to chop down. Yeah, so I don't see anything super outstanding for any of the directions that people went. So yeah, I will be really interested to see a number of different times on this card. In any case, I've taken a long episode and made it even more long-winded. So I will just say that I hope that you guys are having a great day. And I look forward to comparing scores with all of you on Minecraft Bingo. Bye-bye.